What to do today? What to do? What to do? Looking at you, Sam. Play it again. San Francisco is a beautiful city. Cable cars, fog rolling off the bay, Chinatown, the Golden Gate Bridge, the wharf. Gee, I wish I lived there. The dust had to be an inch deep on my desk. A thick layer of papers was forming around the base of the trash can. An empty bottle of milk lay on the floor next to the couch where I had a business engagement the night before. Coffee, Sam? Yeah. Kitty wasn't much on keeping an office clean, but she could make a great cup of coffee. I still remember the day she came in looking for work. She wanted to be a secretary. She had all her requirements. She made a great cup of coffee. I gave her a job. That was yesterday. Being a private dick isn't easy with a name like Sam Spade. But I got all the requirements. I like babes and bullets. And I look kind of neat in a trench coat. More coffee, Sam? Nah. It was a slow day. The hours seemed to drag by like a New York Giants versus Brooklyn Dodgers doubleheader. I decided to get a phone. As I was leaving the office, I found myself face to face with one of the most beautiful creatures I'd ever seen. Are you Spade? I never know how to answer that question. So what brings you here, and why me? There are a hundred private investigators in town with better offices in mind. Who are you? My husband was murdered. Your chief, Tanyo Tabby, will you take the case? I had to think for a minute, sure. Judging from the way she was dressed, she was obviously tapping some big bucks. Of course, it all makes sense now. She marries an old geezer, bumps him off, inherits all the money, hires a second-rate investigator to find the killer who she double-crosses and ends up scot-free. So how old was your husband, Mrs. Otabi? 23. Of course, it all makes sense now. Her husband was obviously a ladies' man. Tanya finds out he's unfaithful and has him snuffed. She hires a second-rate detective to find the killer, who she double-crosses and ends up scot-free. It's one of the oldest shams in the book. So what did your husband do for a living, Mrs. Otabi? He was at St. Morris University, Mr. Spade. He was head of the history department. Something wasn't right here. Sounds like a pretty tame profession, doll. Not exactly the kind of job where enemies can be made. We all have enemies, don't we, Mr. Spade? Call me Sam, please. What makes you think your husband was murdered? He drove off Old Mountain Road, Sam, please. That's 40 miles away. He had no reason to be there. Besides, he was an excellent driver. The police say he probably fell asleep at the wheel. But I just can't believe that. Her lips started to tremble. I took her hands in mine. Go home, kid. I got work to do. I'll call you when I got some. My life's full of babies and bullets No time to lay back and cool it I've got clues and claws right here in my paws Nothing to do but do it Claws and clues on my beat I pay my dues on the street A life full of babes and bullets It's a living That's why I Do it